When the energy is there, I really like it, even though I'm personally into metal. Things are very different now. Half the songs make fun of the government. It hasn't been that long that we could have live concerts. Things are changing really fast. New styles are showing up, new ideas. You can say and do pretty much what you want. I like what's happening. I just hope we keep on changing. Because I don't want to live the way my parents did. Physics is definitely not my favorite, but well, he's pretty good. He cracks a lot of corny jokes. A lot looser than most teachers, even when he catches us talking. After so many years, we all know each other so well. All day long, we're in every class together. We've seen each other every day, six days a week, since we were seven years old. Everything you do, you do together, as a group. You 
You work for your country, your school, your class. You're not encouraged to be different. But even that's changing a little. Last year, the principal saw my class photo and said, cut your hair. So, I cut it. He never bothered me again. School has special language courses. The point for all times, for all nations, for all countries, for all people, comrades. Shakespeare is the greatest, I think. He's a I like to read stories on my own before school explains them to me, tells me the correct way to understand them. Writers such as William Faulkner, uh, Hemingway, mm, well, Robert Frost. Robert Frost, for whom I've tasted of desire, I hold with those who favor fire. But if it had to perish twice... Poetry, great writers, they make you feel things deeply. I love to read the great Russian writers. Tolstoy, Chekhov, Dostoevsky. It's very Russian to love literature. You can hear poetry in the streets. Read the work of new poets. Russians have created so much great literature, dance, music, art, film, theater. Clean up day. Anytime we're together, we get a little crazy. to do something I haven't been looking forward to. I never did like police stations. Now that I'm 16, I have to get an identification card. They call it a city passport. From now on, I have to tell the government every move, where I live, where I work, when and where I want to move, without their permission, I'm not allowed to travel outside the country. I feel like some stranger is prying into my soul. I think the law should be changed. I don't want the people who run the government to run my life too. When I think about the future, what kind of life do I want? If I can make it into Moscow University, if I can study law, I'd like to make some real change. But if I don't pass the entrance exam, forget it. There are no private schools in all the Soviet Union. After dinner, we talk about politics, jokes, news, anything. When we all talk at once, even Vaska joins in. There's an article about a recent law that said you can go to prison for insulting the government. That frightens my parents. They remember a time when you had to be afraid when you couldn't even say what you really thought. But now we can vote for the people we want 
and some of the old laws are being changed. Mom is Russian, but dad and my grandfather are from Soviet Armenia. Grandpa says that I should appreciate what we already have. He goes, what other system gives you free university, a guaranteed job? Grandma has her own ideas. She's a medical doctor, and she grew up in another part of the Soviet Union, Soviet Asia. Where she lived is one of 15 separate republics that make up the Soviet Union. The largest by far is the Republic of Russia. The whole Soviet Union is so huge that it covers one-seventh of all the land on Earth. We're the only country that can interact with Europe on one side and Asia on another. In fact, we're part of the continent of Europe and part of Asia. Our people are from a hundred different cultures. Only about half are Russian like mom. Each republic has its own flag, its own culture. Many were once separate countries, and some don't like being ruled by Russians. Some republics want more independence, and that could tear our country apart. It could put a stop to all the progress we've made. Even in literature class, we sometimes end up learning about Lenin and the revolutions that created our country. In the old Russian Empire, the czars were like kings who had absolute power and were often cruel. Most peasants were serfs, almost slaves. In 1917, the people overthrew the Tsar. But in the factories of Europe and the West, Marx and Lenin had seen workers poorly paid and overworked by rich factory owners. On the backs of the poor, they said, the owners got rich. Marx and Lenin wanted the workers to own the wealth. Lenin led a second revolution, and a new government was born. Now, we have socialism, the people own everything. We, or the government, own all the factories, all the apartments, all the stores. Everyone has a job, a place to live, cheap rent. You don't see homeless people on our streets. That's what they teach about socialism. And you're not encouraged to question it. If you do, well, some teachers don't like it. Timmy can imitate any teacher, and he usually does. We make a lot of jokes about what they don't teach you about socialism. After the revolution, the leaders took all the power. The people were not in charge. 
An exhibit of satire like this was unthinkable just a short time ago. In the late 1980s, Glasnost, a policy of openness, gave us freedom to speak out. I don't want to live like this. One prime example, empty shelves in the market. I see it every day. Mom works hard eight hours a day editing a law journal. At six o'clock, she goes shopping for dinner. She needs some eggs and meat. How long will it take to buy them? Cheese and cream, another 25 minutes. Why do we have to wait? Then she needs vegetables, if there are any decent vegetables. Why are we short of food? One reason is central planning. Workers in government offices try to plan everything for factories, stores, and farms across the whole Soviet Union. And it's not very efficient. A third of our food rots before they get it to market. Trying to run a huge country with central planning it just hasn't worked. This is what works. Some farmers are being allowed to run their own farms and sell at a profit. What a difference. It's true their prices are much higher, but with just 3% of the land, these farmers grow 30% of our food. That's why we need perestroika, change in our system. But I think some people don't want things to change. After all, they might lose some of their status and power. As soon as I saw the look on Dad's face, I should have known. On the phone was, guess who? My literature teacher. I had a feeling what would come next. Что значит пустяки? Если бы это был пустяки, она бы не звонила домой по этому поводу. О чем она говорила? Same discussion we've had before. Я не мог больше слушать. Am I supposed to agree with the teacher even if she's wrong? Times are different now. Но ты собираешься поступать? The dad goes. Do you want to get recommended to university? No. Then you'd better learn when to speak out and when to keep quiet. Tuesdays, Dimi and I have practice, job training. Everybody has to learn a job skill. Hospital work is what I chose, but I'm not even sure why. Well, maybe because Dad's a doctor. If I don't get into university, I'll probably be sent to vocational school to become a medical aide. Seeing old people, sick people, seeing people die, it makes me think about life. One thing I know, I'm not cut out to spend my life working here. For as 
far back as I can remember. Ever since we were little kids, we've been really close friends. They say that Russian friendship runs deep. I can't even imagine my life without my friends. <laughs> All of us got excited by what started happening. A lot of changes came all at once. Uncensored news. We could read opinions on all sides. We could speak out and criticize the government. For the first time in our history, we could vote for the people we chose. Will the people in power, the Communist Party, ever really let go? We hope the times ahead will be a whole lot better, but we know they might be a whole lot worse. In the next few years, we'll see.